I will be resetting the NHL with a fantasy draft. I will then be selecting 20 players to build a squad in NHL 24, but the challenge is none of these players can be making more than 3 million per year. Once I have a full team, we will assemble the lines and simulate through a year in NHL 24 franchise mode with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. For today's draft challenge, we will be representing the Carolina Hurricanes. Let's be a jerk. Although I do rate the consistency and determination to constantly modify my team, I'm going to respectfully decline. I don't really know what draft pick number I want, but I'm going to say that we get draft pick number 17. I was close again. All right, let's see what we can do here. There's got to be somebody. Come on now. Who's making three mil or less? This money ball draft hurts. And because he's 22, I feel like he's going to get taken a lot sooner than Patrick Kane, who's also sub three. So we're going with the defenseman first. You know what? It would be pretty cool to reunite Moritz and Lucas Raymond together. And we're going to be getting Patrick Kane as well, probably. So what the heck is going on? I assume Natchez is probably taken. Yeah, that would have been amazing. But it just simply was not meant to be. You know what is meant to be, though? This guy right here. Patrick Kane. Welcome. So far, we have three draft picks down and three Red Wings. Tyler Toffoli will probably still be around for a bit longer just because he is at the age of 31. So I'm going to take Hagel and then I won't wait any longer. I'll go for Toffoli. Are you kidding me right now? The pick before us. Well, we have a new rival. They must have heard me talking. That's the only way. All right, Sean Dursey. Jersey number 50, making 1.7. Welcome aboard, Cameron Talbot. One million and only two for Ingram. We could also take Skinner, but I feel like I saw Ingram do really well in the last simulation, so I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Sean Monahan and Jeff Petrie. We definitely need Monahan though, because we currently have no centers. He's got 87 face-offs as well. Amazing. And look who's still here. None other than Jeffrey Petri. I feel like we've taken him in the last like 87 drafts, but you know what? Some streaks weren't meant to be broken. He is not making more than 3 million. He is making exactly $3 million. Let me just call the owner real quick. Hey, yeah, so Dylan DeMello. All right. He said I'm a stupid idiot and hung up. Nice guy though. Definitely just joking around. 3 million is acceptable. He didn't say no. Maximus Patches, 84 overall. 2 million and we kind of need left wingers we only have one at the moment so sign him up what's our handedness looking like for defenders because tanev and oel are offsetting we got a right and a left there so if we already have right left i might just take these two and finish up the decor so in an unfortunate series of events we currently have four right-handed defensemen who let that happen? On that note, OEL will be my next selection. Instant yes. We need centerman. Henrik is in fact just that. 83, that'll do. One of you has to be left-handed. McNabb or Schultz? Perfect. All right, McNabb is going to be drafted by the Carolina Hurricanes. He also has an ability? Fire me vertical, Brayden. I'm not going to say anything about the team. I'm not going to say it but we don't look bad. Oh, I said it. All right, well, now we're gonna be terrible. Jamison v. Reamsdyke. 83 overall. Left wingers, we could still kind of use. Get some depth goal scoring. He's a sniper. I feel like I say that every draft. Rinse and repeat. We're gonna have so much cap space, and I will take Pavel as our backup. 84 overall. We're gonna have two pretty good goalies. There's so many players I would like to pick, but they're just out of our price range, like Lowry and Foligno, but what can you do? I'll tell you what you can do. You can draft Blake Wheeler, 82 overall, center, right wing. You know, he's just down for whatever. He'll play defense for you, I've heard. Now, this is where things get interesting. We still need two centers, but let me tell you something, Jabroni. We're going for the physicality. Welcome aboard the squadron, Ryan Reeves. Kelly Yarncrook is actually pretty solid. 78 face-offs, though. Jordan Stull has 89 face-offs and the ability, and he's making just under three. So you know what? I think that we have to go with him for our third-line center. And our fourth-line center will be Leller. I don't know how this team is going to do, but for some reason, I'm fooling myself into thinking we're going to be good again. But the truth is, I've lost my touch. I am so bad. At drafting now, apparently. I've had no success any time recently. Jordan Greenway. Power forward. Final selection. 
Let's get it. I wonder if the auto draft is actually going to take a bunch of pretty good players because of the fact that we have no salary. So we have green. Oh, no. I guess we're pretty much set. Let's see what the team looks like and how the chemistry fits. Okay, looking at this, my belief in this team has fallen substantially. What about, like, defense? Are they any good or... Okay. All right. Totally down with that. Very interesting they want McNabb on the first pair, but it's a plus two, so... I'm not going to do anything. In net, we have Connor Ingram backed up by Pavel. Yeah, no. We're not going to make the playoffs. I don't think. Maybe we will, because I've seen weird teams like this that don't really have a lot of abilities overall, whatever, get there. But, no. I'll say we get 38 wins, and just for fun, I'm going to say Raymond gets the most points with 77. Let's simulate. You may not look like a winning team, but you are one. Or we're just not. That's also an option. Oh, I love that four game. Make it five game winning, six game winning streak. Holy crap, Smashville. Finally brought that historic run to an end. How are we going to lose to Detroit when we took three of their best players? Yeah, I know it's a fantasy draft. Give me a break. Come on now, dig deep. We need some W's. 30 wins, 30 wins by the deadline. 30 wins by the deadline. Thank you. Thank you. I don't ask for much. Are there any team-friendly contract kings available at the trade deadline? Vitrano would have been nice. Yeah, no. Doesn't look like it. All right, well, we're just gonna have to run with what we got. Nikolai Ehlers and Backlund. Here comes 32 trades, by the way. 32 thoughts? No, this is 32 trades. The Golden Knights receive a first, Broberg, and a third. Kadri and Merrill headed to Calgary in exchange for two firsts and Yarventi. Adam Larson is now a Detroit Red Wing, and the Golden Knights are just on a fire sale here, it looks like. Getting a first and a second. Oh, that's it? Great. Two losses to start our post-trade deadline run. This does not look good. I mean, playoffs are still possible, but we would have to sneak in. Like, it would be criminal for us to get in unless we win out, which evidently is not going to happen. Keep losing to the Bruins. They're yeah, we're not going to make it. Okay, well, you know what? We tried. I really need to do a video that is basically just, I drafted a team. And that's it, because right now, your boy's looking pretty washed. Two Canadian teams in the Stanley Cup Finals, Gary Bettman would never. Carolina finished 7th in the Metro with 81 points, 37 wins, 38 losses. Don't love to see that. The Vancouver Canucks are your President's Trophy winners with 115. And don't worry, we'll go look at all these rosters after. Detroit with 102. Boston got in at 17, but the Golden Knights 14th get shafted. And they were the ones selling everybody at the deadline. Oh, we were bad, bad. 28th in the league. 71 points from Patty Kane. 67 from Hagel. He had a great year on the second line. Raymond, 63. Henrique had 24 goals and 60 points. Blake Wheeler, 28 goals. Morris with 33 points. I'm not mad, just disappointed. Ingram actually did all right. Nearly a 9-10 save percentage. Almost a flat 3 GAA. 29, 29, and 5. Three shutouts. Pavel had not such a good time. 27 points from Dursey. 23 from Petrie. Yeah, our defensive core just was not very offensive. That sounds weird to say, but like... You kind of want them to do something, right? Kachekov leads the league with 45 wins, 74 games played. That's nuts. 45, 25, and 3 with 3 shutouts. Nearly a 908 and nearly a 3 GAA. So, they're pretty close. Freddie Anderson did quite well. 914 save percentage, 286 GAA, and 44 wins. Kale leads the charge, 90 points, and 81 from Yossi. So Kale was the only point a game defender. He was also a plus 34, which is very good. Your Art Ross winner, Nikita Kucherov, just like in real life, but this time he got 106 points. He actually got pretty much that in assists. He's actually going to win the Rocket Richard by the looks of it. Jonathan Huberto had 14 goals, but 101 points. This guy's just giving out goals. He did, in fact, win the Rocket Richard and the Art Ross. Wow. He's got to get the heart too, right? Like, there's no way. The President's Trophy winning Vancouver Canucks had Huberto, Stamkos, and Kucherov. Fair enough. Lindholm, Duchesne, Bunting, ridiculous second line. Their depth is all right. Defensively, Sergeyev and Montour. I wanted to draft this guy, but he was making just too much. Should have tried to bargain with the owner. And yeah, they had Freddie and Net, which makes sense. Now one half of your Stanley Cup finalists, the Toronto Maple Leafs with Frankie, Vitrano, Petrosian, and ADB.
Great first line. Matthew Joseph with Sharon Govich and DeBrus. They also got Jeannot down here. So probably fought a lot of people. Devin Taves on defense. They brought back Rasmus Sandin. Interesting team here in Calgary. Jeff Skinner with Sidney the Kidney and Kadri, which was a deadline pickup for them. They've also got Val playing with Byfield and Eklund. That second line is outrageous. Costas Bear and White Cloud, Brody, Matheson, Shillington, Gudis. Very nice. With Ilya Sorokin in net. I feel like your Stanley Cup champions should be the Calgary Flames, but we'll see what happens. One game at a time. Advanced day. No game. Love that. 1-0 Calgary. It is 2-0 Calgary. Can they go for the sweep? Oh my word, they actually might do it. Well, okay then. Crosby gonna be getting the con Smythe. 30 points in 25 games played was a plus 2, which isn't that great. ADB was a plus 14. Same with Pedersen. This was a huge deadline pickup for them. Nas put in work. 15 goals and close to a 20 shooting percentage. Sorokin did play out of his mind. A 919 save percentage, 268 GAA. This is another circumstance where they could give it to the goalie but they won't. Miro had 18 points in 20 games, Taves 18 in 19 games, and then it drops off to 13 for Ghost. Every single team trophy went to a Canadian team. Kucherov does get the art and the heart. Makar awarded the Norris. Makes sense. ADB scoops up the Lady Bing this year, and Connor Bedard with the Calder, because obviously. Crosby does get the Con Smythe, but Jakey O gets the Vesna and the Jennings. Oh, we actually won something. The Bill Masterton goes to Braden McNabb. We're not empty-handed. Jack Adams season for Simpson. Crosby also getting the Selkie. Cooch with the Ted Lindsay and the Rocket Richard. And here's the playoff tree. So Toronto swept Boston in the conference finals. I'm not going to say anything. But then they would go on to get waxed by the Calgary Flames. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you. If you subscribe, then your favorite team is going to win the Stanley Cup this year, even if they've already been eliminated. There's going to be some like crazy rule where they just bring your team back and they win. It's, it is what it is. On that note, I'll see you soon.